What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Now I want to begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. I'm going to start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So let's start from the very top in the middle. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Let's move to the center of our page and draw another line going across from left to right. Now I'm going to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. So from the center point, the step up towards the top, it's going to mark off the top of our circle. Now I want to take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the same distance from the top to the bottom, over on the left, and then the right side. Now we're going to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. I'm just going to rough this in. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get the right size and placement in the center of our page. Now from the side of our circle, let's draw another line coming all the way down towards the bottom. And then we'll extend that up towards the top. Now I'm going to add one more guideline across the bottom of our circle. Now with our guides in place, let's locate the inside corner of the eyes. From the center, let's step all the way over towards the left to right about here. Draw a straight line coming down towards that bottom line. Now I want to take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to place the eyes along the outside of this point. So from here, step down, bend the eye going up and then out towards the top of the eye line. From the outside, let's step in, curve the eye coming down and then in. Now let's create a fold inside the brow. From this point, come down and then up in the middle. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to place the mouth along that bottom line. So let's start from these two points. We're going to bend the tentacles, going out and then down towards the side. Now we're going to give it a wave. On the left, go around and just bend that in. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Let's go all the way back up towards the eyes and draw the outside of that tentacle. I'm going to go out. I'm just going to taper this so it gets narrower as you come down towards the tip. Go up to the right side and do the same thing. Let's bend the center of the mouth. I'm going to go up in the middle and then back down. Now from the mouth line, I'm going to come all the way down towards the chin. And let's mark this off with a straight line. Let's go to the center, add a tentacle coming out towards the left, going out, down, and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go to the outside and just trace this and get narrower as you come down towards the bottom. Now the cheeks are going to sit along the bottom of our circle. So halfway down, I'm just going to add another tentacle, going out, come in, and then back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down, around, and then back out. Now from the bottom, I'm just going to taper this so it's thicker as you come back in. Let's connect these two tentacles with the cartilage going up and then down in between. Now before we continue, let's slope down the shoulders. We're going to start from the side of the head. We're going to come down at an angle towards the left side of our page. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's add a few smaller ones along the side of the head. Let's start on the left. And we want to vary the shape of both sides. Coming around and out. And just taper that back in towards the side. Let's go over towards the right and bump this out. Come down and just curl that up on the end. Go around the outside and then back in. Let's add another one on the left, going around across the shoulder and up. And then taper that back in. Add one on the right side, coming down. Now we're going to add one more. We're going to step out from the side of the circle, come down and up. Now 
Let's add a curve just up above the eyes for the bottom edge of the hat. So we'll start on the left, then it's up, go across, and then back down. Now from the hat, we're gonna step all the way up. It's gonna mark off the tip of the hat, go out and then down with a straight line toward the left, and then the right side. Now I just wanna bend this around and then in behind the side of the head. Let's go back up to that point. We're gonna bend the hat, going up and then out toward the left, right about there, and then do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna work our way around the outside of the hat. From the tip, then it's in and then down. Come down and then out. I'm just gonna bend the hat coming down and then in towards the bottom. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and lightly erase these guidelines so we can get a better look at our proportions. Now that we have a clean sketch, it's easy to take a look at the balance and proportions. Now if everything looks correct, we can go back in and darken up our contours and add some more details. Let's start with the eyes. I'd like to start with the upper eyelid. I'm just gonna darken that up. Also adding some wrinkles and folds as we go. Just pulling some lines going up. And pull some lines going up from the eye. And I'm just going to work our way out around the eye, just adding these wrinkles and folds. We're going to start to refine those layers, those tentacles on the side. I'm just adding a little bit more shape to the bottom edge of the hat. I didn't want to get rid of that smooth curve by just adding a few bumps and just offsetting it so it's not symmetrical. Now I'm going to go and just layer some more tentacles in the background. So just in between. And a few shorter ones. I'm just going to move up and just trace the contour of the hat, adding a little bit more shape on the tips and the outside. 
you know, I just want to get rid of some of the symmetry. So I'm just going to offset this a little bit. Make it slightly different. Now that you've finished tracing out the contours, we're gonna move to a different pencil and use the flat edge to add some shadows and tones. So I'm gonna start with the bottom edge of the hat. So this whole entire area is gonna be in shadow. So I'm just gonna start from the bottom. And I just wanna feather that out towards the outside line. So we're gonna go a little bit darker around the face and then fade that out. And now I'm going to go and start adding some shadows across the face. Now for consistency, we're going to place the light along the top left side of our page going across our character. So the highlights will sit on the top left with the shadows on the opposite side. So I'm going to start by shading in the bottom of the brow and then just fading that up. I'll just darken up the bottom of the eyes. And then feather that out towards the side. And then the hat's going to cast a shadow across the head. So we'll darken up the top and then blend that down. And go a little bit lower in the middle to enhance that brow. I'm going to add some shadow across the bottom of the tentacles and then fade that up. I'm just going to go back and just darken up the body, going in behind the tentacles. And we're just going to rough this in. I don't want to get too detailed with this.
Now this front set of tentacles is gonna cast a shadow across the bottom. Just gonna shade this in and then blend that out. Now I'm gonna go back to the hat and just darken up the bottom and just fade that up. Now we're gonna shift the shadow more towards the right side. Because again, the light's coming from the top left side. So we'll darken up the top of the hat. We're also gonna darken up the shadow across the face, just on the right, and just fade that in towards the center. Go and just lightly sketch in the iris on the outside. Once the positioning is good, we'll go back and just darken that up a little. And the pupil. And add some shading inside the iris. Now I'm going to go in and start adding some more fine wrinkles inside the head, starting with the brow. Cross the mouth. Now we're going to go back and just add some spots along the inside of the tentacles. Also some blemishes across the face. And then we're gonna add some rough barnacles around the bottom of the hat. So we'll start on the left side, just adding these dark spots first. And just some random areas along the top.
Now as we get closer to the end, I'll add some more detail to the barnacles and some watermarks across the face. And I'll always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month or catch more free tutorials on our Excel sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. So subscribe or join today.